everyone. My name is Jennifer Terry. Kumusta kayo? How are you? Today is March 22. Let's start our update with a flight advisory from Philippine Airlines. This flight advisory is for those with flights with PAL from New York and from Toronto. So all Philippine Airlines flights from New York to Manila PR-127 and Toronto to Manila PR-119 will be temporarily rerouted to avoid flying to Russian airspace for now. You know, there are many issues with um, Ukraine and Russia airspace. Um, for, with this, guys, Philippine Airlines had to adjust as a result of this. The New York to Manila, JFK to Manila, and Toronto to Manila will need to stop over briefly in Vancouver for refueling before proceeding to Manila. So it means guys that your travel time will be longer no? hindi na siya direct na direct because there will be a just a very short refueling in Vancouver. How long? One hour. And the longer routing over the North Pacific Ocean will also increase this travel time. However, going back to New York and going back to Toronto, there will be no more rerouting as these flights do not fly over Russian territory. So direct pa rin yung pabalik. PR-126 and PR-119, JFK to Manila, and then Toronto to Manila, they are still direct. Yung papunta lang ng Philippines, yung may temporary refueling in Vancouver and longer travel time. While for Kababayans in, in London, this is still a Philippine Airlines advisory. This was released last March 16. There is a temporary suspension of flights to London. We regret to announce that PAL will temporarily suspend regular flights between Manila and Heathrow, London starting from March 30 due to economic considerations. And guys, if you have booked with PAL, Manila to London, this is effective no March 30, 2022. You have options to convert your money into a travel credit or refund international news. Good news for our Kababayans in Canada. The Canadian government announced the other day that effective April 1, 2022, 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time, fully vaccinated travelers will no longer need to apply to provide a pre-entry COVID-19 test result to enter Canada by air, land, or water. Yan. No more COVID tests if you're entering Canada. Sana all. While for Hong Kong, good news is that Hong Kong will be lifting the ban on nine countries, include, including the Philippines, starting April. A ban on flights from Australia, Belgium, Canada, France, India, Nepal, Pakistan, and the Philippines, and the U.S., will be lifted from April 1. So this is good news, mga kababayans natin ng OFWs going to Hong Kong or pauwi ng Philippines. And this is also good news for you guys, for those with layover in uh, in Hong Kong, those with flights with Cathay Pacific, no, they can operate better once this uh, ban is lifted. So that is starting April 1. While well, for those interested in going to Thailand, the Thailand government also announced that starting April 1, they will lift the RT-PCR test requirement for entry. So no need to show a proof of negative test result before entering Thailand, but there will still be testing upon arrival. I'm, I'm glad the Philippines is not following that. I mean, it's just better to just get tested before your trip, show a negative test result, no more testing, you go home straight away. I think the Philippine our testing requirement of showing negative test result prior to entry is much better. While the Philippines expects more foreign tourist arrivals, according to the Bureau of Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morente in a press release the other day, that right now they are seeing 10,000 arrivals per day in IA, but they expect that this figure could reach up to 12,000 or more as the summer season in the Philippines starts when many foreign nationals flock our tourist destinations to enjoy the tropical weather. And the Philippines also has good news, right? For April 1, remember, visa issuances will resume. There is no guidelines on visa issuances just yet. So it's just eight days from now. I'm, I'm sure there will be announcements soon. I think it would be the IATF that would make the announcement. So visa required nationals, I think, 
May, maybe siguro mga 29 or 28, there will be an announcement. So watch out for that next IATF announcement. I am here to remind you guys to comply with all that you need and double check everything. One kababayan also traveling with her foreign spouse got offloaded coming from Switzerland. Why? Because they had separate bookings for their flights. Switzerland to Bangkok, Bangkok to Manila. You guys, if you have booked with multiple airlines, with layovers, separate booking, Nako po, you really need to call the airline to confirm if this is allowed. She booked with Air Swiss and then Cebu Pacific. In Thailand, she was not allowed to board for her uh, Bangkok to Manila flight with Cebu pa kasi hindi daw allowed. It happens, especially if ibang terminal yung airline or if that country does not allow if you don't have an onward ticket to your final destination, no, it, it happens. So, if you guys are doing a self-transfer or flying with multiple airlines, please triple check po. My suggestion is to always book with the airline direct and to book with single airline. Or if it's a different airline yung layover, please call the airline to confirm. Because... Airline websites or third-party sites will not tell you upon booking that and it is not allowed. No, they will let you book even though that flight is, is not allowed or accepted. They don't care. So you have to do your own diligent research if you're booking with multiple airlines with layovers, self-transfer. That's on you. It's just a shame because these travelers spent almost 80000 because of that incident. And now they're fighting for a refund from the third party site they booked with. That's eDreams. So to avoid any complications, guys, please double check everything. And I've been saying this, let's just review the requirements for Filipinos po. Negative test result, RT-PCR or antigen test, your choice, pwedeng pwede. Just make sure na valid pa yung test. Kung RT-PCR dapat mga one day or not more than two days ka magpapatest before your flight. Kung antigen test, within 24 hours bago ang inyong flight. Next up is One Health Pass QR code. Vaccination proof. Kung hindi vaccinated, pre-booked quarantine hotel for five nights pag hindi OFW. Next up, for former Filipinos, foreign spouse, and children traveling together. This is for those availing the Black Bayan privilege. For former Filipino, of course, yung old Philippine passport or birth certificate. For the spouse, marriage certificate. For your child, a birth certificate. So I know you've been hearing stories saying, oh, hindi naman hinanap yung birth certificate. Oh, yung marriage certificate, hindi naman hinanap. Guys, much better pa rin magdala kayo kasi yung talaga yung hinihingi. Airlines or oh, immigration the Philippines may not ask for it, but your airlines will do. So, you know, for peace of mind, to be safe, bring it. So what you need, a negative test result, 48 hours RT-PCR or antigen test if you want, 24 hours before your trip. Then passport should be more than 6 months valid. Airlines will check this. Please don't play with this one. An accepted vaccination proof, travel insurance, and one half pass QR code. For foreign tourists who would like to visit the Philippines, a negative test result. A passport should be more than six months valid, an accepted vaccination proof, travel insurance with COVID coverage, an exit ticket if you're staying, if you plan to stay here more than 30 days. So for example, you're planning to stay two months, you need to show an exit ticket of not more than 30 days. It's non-negotiable. Immigration airlines will check this. I suggest buy a throwaway ticket or get a refundable ticket or rent an onward ticket. There's many options. Next up we have is one half pass QR code. Yep, and lastly is for foreigners holding a visa, a negative test result, passport should be more than six months valid, vaccination proof, and one half pass QR code. That is it. I will let you know if there's any changes, but I'll see you with another travel update. Please always, always check with your airline advisories for any changes. God bless you all and stay safe. Bye.